Hey there! In this video, I want to share with you, my darlings, the must-have Mac apps I've once discovered and never let go. If you're setting up your new Mac or simply searching the best Mac apps, it's for you. Let's start. Sorry to begin on a sad note, but this is important. Before you even start saving anything important on Mac, install an ambulance for your files. The app called Disk Drill. It's a recovery utility that can bring life to any deleted data. Let me show you how it works. Let's say you want to recover an overwritten file. We open the app, agree, and click continue. Type your admin password to allow access. Here we go. Select the drive that contains your file and click recover. Now, if you click on the folder, you'll see the list of files available for recovery. Let's select our file and hit recover again. Choose the destination where you want to save your file. And ready! The missing data is back. The ease of the whole process is incredible. So that was about bringing back important files. Now a bit about removing those you don't need. Honestly, I don't really like cleaning. Whether it's my house or on a Mac's desktop. With a Mac, the solution I'm using is called Declutter. The name already tells you half of the story. So I'm going to proceed to show you how it works. Once you open the app, it will take a sit in your menu bar. This cute shelf logo. Click on it, and a drop-down menu will appear. Now you have to define the rules for decluttering. Hit the plus button to add a new folder and specify what type of files it should contain. Let's say screenshots. So we type the folder name and then screenshots under filter name. Done. You can repeat this with all types of desktop files you want to organize. Now, whenever you're ready, hit Declutter Now. The app will automatically organize your files by folders. Now, have a look at your desktop. Magic, right? You can also set Declutter to automatically organize files once you add the new ones to desktop. Let's go back to the app. Click this alarm icon and toggle Automatic Mode to On. That's it. No more clutter. Speaking of which, if you're not acquainted with Clean My Mac X, I recommend to get this one too. It's a great cleaning utility for your entire system. Also, it looks pretty impressive. Here it is. On the left, you can see lots of modules, each of which makes your Mac a clean place. It's been originally created to clean system logs, old caches, file leftovers, everything you're probably not cleaning. If you click Smart Scan, it's all up and running. The app finds what you should delete to make your Mac faster and cleaner. You can play with the modules. They are pretty useful. Like if you click on malware removal, Clean My Mac X will run a security scan on your Mac. It really sees the potential threats and helps you remove them. The space lens is pretty fun. Look, it shows you everything your drive contains. Hit scan and you'll see the complete storage map. It's super helpful when you want to see what type of files occupy lots of space and what can be deleted. Simply amazing. Okay, I'm switching to the next one because I can continue playing with Clean My Mac X forever. Hope you'll get back to it later. PDF Pen. This is my absolute favorite for when I deal with PDF docs. Before I discovered this app, I've been using Preview for the basic stuff like adding annotations or comments. It also has the option of adding signature, which is quite handy. However, Preview is very limited compared to this one. Let's open a doc and see what you can do with PDF Pen. So once you launch the app, go to File and click Open. On the left side, you can select from a variety of editing options. Insert a comment, highlight, search, etc. What I like the most is this one. Select any block and then click Format, Redact Text. You can choose to cover an area on a PDF with a black block or erase it. See? Gone in a click. This is really cool for when you have to hide some info on docs, like name, date, or credit card. Also, PDF Pen is a full-featured OCR editor, which means you can scan printed docs and edit them right away. All right, now a few words about my favorite screen recording app. Probably know the native shortcuts for taking screenshots. Command-Shift-3, Command-Shift-4, they're quite handy. But I've also found an app that can upgrade them. It's called CleanShot. 
Let me show you why I think it's best. So once you install it, CleanShot appears in the menu bar. Click on it and you'll see this magic button I love. Hide desktop icons. Now you can record a screen with a perfectly clean desktop. The shortcuts for taking screenshots are the same as the native ones, by the way. So this makes things easy. Let's try it. Grab this area, take a screenshot, voila. See this small overlay menu over here? It's another great feature CleanShot has. Click on the edit button and you can change your screenshot before it will be saved. Adjust the size or even add a comment. Hit done, that's it. You can find the screenshot on your desktop. Simple, but adds a huge power to screenshotting, right? Okay, the next one is where I have to make a coming out, I guess. I love chatting with friends online. But because I don't want to switch across phone and desktop all the time, I've been looking for a solution that can bring all my messengers into one. And that's where I discovered IM+. It's essentially a desktop aggregator where I'm keeping all the messengers I use. So as you can see, I have Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Telegram, Gmail, and a couple of others here. It's pretty easy to add new channels from the list. I also love that you can tag a group of messengers to make a distinction between work and private chats. Or enable or disable the entire group in a click. Keeps distractions away. If you're like, I came here for productivity apps, what is this? No worries. I have saved the best for last. MindNode. This is one of the best mind mapping tools I've seen so far. Even if you don't really do mind mapping, I encourage you to check it out. I've done some homework and I want to show you right away what MindNode maps look like. So let's just find the file, click open, and here it is. It's insanely visual and maintains all the connections, no matter how many you add. I also love the colors. If you click here, you can add visuals from photos or any other location on Mac. Instead of writing, you can illustrate ideas with stickers. There are lots of options over here. I usually use it at work meetings to quickly capture the key points and then export it to a PDF or a text outline. I think MindNote is also great for school or creative folks who need to quickly jot down ideas. Last one, timing. Honestly, I've never done any time tracking or to-do lists before I discovered timing. Well, I think that's because timing basically doesn't ask you to do anything. It just monitors how you work and gives you insights afterwards. So when you start working on something, you don't have to start or stop any timers. Work across the apps and websites you need. Then go to Timing and check the Review tab. It will tell you how much time you spend. Under Details, you can review the information by projects and sources. Need a report? It's here. Hit Export and it's yours. Really cool for when you don't have time to check the time, but then eventually need to know where your time goes. That's about it. You can find and even try all of those apps in SetApp for free. If you have your personal SetApp favorite or any other Mac app that makes you more productive, please share in the comments below. Thanks for watching.